you literally can't trust them. They say and do a lot of bad practices to where it definitely crossed the line with this. She was actually going to help brand me as I'm new to all this and stuff. And so she was supposed to spread good PR about me. And if I paid her to spread bad PR around me, I want a refund for that. I mean, who's going to pay for that? So just overall, every experience I've had has been the opposite of what I was hoping I would get out of it. advertised that it was an event that was going to take place the Friday before the MTV Awards. It was a pre-event, but that the only the people who got invited to the MTV Awards, it goes through their agent, they get exclusive invites, and I was allowed to set up a booth to talk to celebrities about my nonprofit. Of course, I wanted some donations and just to spread foster care awareness. I had a lengthy conversation with her before I paid, making sure this event was going to be in Hollywood. And she said, oh, yeah, I'm 100 percent sure. So I went ahead and paid twenty two hundred dollars. And the day before I was going to fly out to leave, I get a voicemail from her saying that the event is getting canceled. Sorry for the last minute notice she just found out herself what is going to happen instead is that i'll get a credit for the emmys events instead so just stay tuned she'll give me the exact date for that and so i can rearrange my flight sorry about that (laughs) so and this took place the the day before my husband's birthday. So we were going to have an event celebrating in Hollywood there, just a little vacation. So that completely canceled all of our plans. And we were pretty, you know, grumpy about it. Okay, I don't know what we're going to do instead. We just stayed home and went to dinner. But we I asked her for a refund because the Emmys event wasn't going to work. That happened to take place tomorrow, which is uh, the, the pre event would take place tomorrow. And that was our wedding anniversary of all days. So it's almost like this conspiracy to ruin our year. So, but it was like, I really would prefer not to go to that. I would like a full refund. And I was like, it'd be different if the, the reason she gave me, and I have this on a voicemail, was that the twins that hosted it, the Wild Creations, got a better reality TV show deal. And they just found out about, you know, that they got the deal the day of. So they're flying to New York and sorry, your event, you know, is canceled. And so I'm like, if it would have been due to COVID, a family emergency, I would have understood, you know, these things happen to anybody. But because they just got a better deal. And she was like, we rise together, Cheryl, you know, you need to be a team player. It's like, what the, there's a lot of businesses counting on this here. And I was wanting to spread awareness about our new mentoring program, too, and get some people to sign up for that. It wasn't really going to do us any benefit in September, but I still was like, okay, if I can't get a full refund, I'll get a credit. I am not forfeiting this money. And then she starts sending me these messages that it's going to go through a lawyer, that she doesn't, she thinks it's going to be a liability for me to come. I'm no longer welcome to come. But she, again, is offering no refund, and that's the end of it. And um, what I found out since going through a lawyer is that the MTV event, first of all, was in New Jersey. It wasn't even in Hollywood. How are the people that are going to this event going to just hop on a plane and go to New Jersey? I mean, that's why the twins were headed that way. So I do believe that it was even an intent to fraud on top of it. and all these excuses for giving no refund. After I paid, she sends me an email with the deal memo. And the deal memo says absolutely no refunds. It says that in the event of a cancellation due to whatever, natural emergency, COVID, you know, these things that they will attempt to reach you within I think you're like a three day window. And if you do not reply that sometimes people forfeit their, their money and 
there's still no refund policy that <clears throat> they will attempt to reach you three times. And if you don't respond, you know, you don't get the money. Well, I was very responsive <laughs> within those three days. And I had said that what I had said to her is that if they would not give me a refund, I would not be doing business with them ever again. Is I had given her a lot of money and she took that as I was forfeiting the money that I really didn't want to go to the next event. And so I said, you know, and, and so she just said, well, then you forfeited the money. So I sent her other replies within the three day period saying, I am not forfeiting the money. I am expressing my great preference is for a refund since this was not due to any of our errors or anything like that. But if we cannot get a refund, then I will find somebody else to represent fund FC. And, you know, then there was just, I hear nothing, you know, and I try to reach out to them again and they say, no, sorry, there's no open spots and you're a liability. And we, you know, all further contact will be through our lawyers. Originally, all I wanted was my $2,200 back. I didn't think it would be this hard. If you don't give somebody a good or a service that you promised them, you give them a refund. I mean, at the very least. But since it's also gotten just like malicious from her, I, I, I will... I think that I, I have to take it to small claims court and, and sue it for fraud. I would just say research some of the other gifting suites in the area or, you know, around the event show. If this is something that really interests you, you want to be able to do business with people that are trustworthy and have a good reputation. I heard about this. The only reason I even took them seriously is because it was a politician that I didn't really know, but he had said he would do what he could in his power to help spread the word. And what I needed was more celebrities to hear about our nonprofit. And he said he got invited to set up a booth, but he was conveniently going to be out of the country. And so he couldn't be there for me, but he was going to, you know, uh, he, he said Monique was a person of high character like myself and that, you know, he, he connected us like that. So if I wouldn't have had somebody putting in a good word for her, I wouldn't have known about them or given them a chance, but I don't, you know, it's kind of like politics. There's a lot of corruption in it. I mean, I, yeah, I just don't, I really want to save people the time and the stress and the frustration because she is really good at making you feel really bad about yourself. Like you did something wrong. And I, I just feel like they're taking advantage of so many businesses.